Hey YouTube, what's going on? James R. Schultz with TechCourse.com here today. And we've got an unboxing. If you saw my video from yesterday, Monday, you would notice that at the end of it I mentioned uh, an iPad. And, and then I said enjoy the next unboxing. So that's exactly what we have today. Just got back from the Apple Store. It's 11.05 in the morning, Monday, April 5th, 2010. I was not able to get it Saturday or Sunday, so I figured Monday is better than never. Anyways, obviously, iPad, first generation, 16 gig. Got a couple other things while I was up at the Apple Store. Thought I'd uh, get some get some gift cards. Probably be using those for pages and office, all the all that stuff. What else we got in here? We got a case. The Apple case was not actually at the store today. So I've got the in case, the, the neoprene sleeve plus. I have the same case for my 13-inch MacBook Pro. And I really like it, so we'll definitely try this out, and I'll probably do a separate review. And uh, we might open that in this video here as well. And I also picked up, for 30 bucks the little iPad dock, since it doesn't come with one nice little box here from the Apple Store Legacy Village, Northeastern Ohio. So we'll probably dig into that as well. But the main attraction, what we're all here to see, is this. The iPad. 16 gigabytes, released from Apple two days ago on April 3rd. So without further ado, let's dig in. Used one of these at the store today, and it is a big iPod Touch, essentially. Except a lot of the stuff has been changed. It was funny the uh, one of the app one of the apps made by Apple uh, Remote was not actually uh, done over for the iPad yet. I thought that was pretty funny. We all love that sound, don't we? Yeah, Jas goes over here. He's just watching. All right. Let's see what we got in here. I hope it's real. I do too. That is beautiful. Displayed on the very front. Mm -hmm. As usual, no. Uh, Apple's getting cheaper on their boxes, but <laughs> still nice. <laughs> Little tab here. And the thing is actually pretty heavy. It's 1.5 pounds, but it feels like more than that. We'll do a device tour in just a moment. Get that off to the side. See what else is in here. Designed by Apple in California. I'm not going to throw mine like Chris Perillo. We'll open it up and see what the hell is in here. Two really big Apple stickers. Those might be bigger than the ones that come with the MacBook Pro. What do you think, Taylor? Yeah, they're bigger. All right. Big Apple stickers. Documentation. Important product information guide. This is all the stuff we never read, but we brag about when we have to sell it. <laughs> and then here's a little... Um, Things, sleep wake, screen rotation, volume up down, home button, how to sync and connect and everything, and we'll probably have a separate video of that. And a very small, looks like the one that comes with the uh, iPhone. We'll open this up. Little uh, power to USB adapter. Little wall thing, just like the MacBook Pro. I wonder if it's the same one. Here, grab that over there, Taylor. It probably is the same one. The MacBook Pro's power. I think it is. Yep, that would be the same one. So uh, that means you can use the larger cord with this, and that's just a powered USB port. So that's definitely kind of cool. And of course, a little three foot Apple 30 pin sync cable for charging and syncing. So that's pretty much all that's in the box. Let's go back and take a look at that iPad, shall we? Main attraction. Right. Wrapped in plastic, as all Apple products are. And it is beautiful. Bit heavy, <laughs> but it's very nice. It's, uh, the aluminum on the back, as Apple's been doing, get a big black Apple iPad, this is only 16 gig, but I figured that'd be enough for a, for a first one. Nothing over here on the left. On the bottom, you're going to find your 30-pin connector in the middle, your, uh, your speaker grill. Over here is the volume toggle and a hold switch that prevents the screen from moving. So if you're holding it like this, it's obviously in um, portrait mode, and then you flip that little switch and turn it, it's going to stay in portrait mode, which can be very useful, as dumb as it sounds. So that's nice to have. The top, um, probably an ambient light sensor, 
but possibly not. It might be up here in the bezel. Yeah, ambient light sensor is right in the middle. You can see it in the light. Um, it's set on on Apple.com and it had a microphone, so maybe that's what that is. Your 3.5 millimeter non-recessed headphone jack and your power button that just wants me to push it. Let's see what happens. Tiny apple in the middle of the screen. Surprise. Let's make that bigger. <laughs> Now, uh, from some of the ones I've seen online, you actually get a progress bar. So we'll see if we get that as well. I've got the MacBook Pro set up over here. There is a few minutes left on camera. That's very fast. Plug in to iTunes, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Just the camera here. There's the monitor. Wake up the Mac and plug her in for the first time. I've got a touch, um, third generation 64 gig. So iTunes is all, all set up and ready. All we got to do is open it. We'll go over to the store real quick and let's plug it in. Tiny adapter is such a big device. Yeah, it is. Looks kind of small sticking out. You can hear the, uh, the sound. iTunes, 88% charged. See what iTunes is saying over here. All right, let's get started. Wants me to register. Uh, yeah, I've read that. I'm sure, I have. <laughs> Accessing iTunes Store. Whoops. All right. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Anyways, um, we're going to make another video right after this of the little. The little docs, we'll see what's in there, and the case. So make sure you click that little annotation. It'll be about here. And uh, thanks for watching this one. Make sure to check out our website at techcores.com. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And then every Tuesday night now, not Fridays anymore, where there's getting too nice to be inside, every Tuesday night between 7 and 9 p.m. Eastern Time, stick'em.com slash techcores for our live web shows. Thanks for watching this one. Many more to come. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in about, I don't know, 40 seconds when I start the next video. Bye, guys. Thanks again.